Good boy. Eat your breakfast. That was actually your supper that you should have eaten yesterday. But good boy. Go for it, man. You keep going. Don't mind me. I'm just watching. With a couple of thousand of my best friends. Making you nervous? Okay. We're here in uh, Minnesota. Owatonna, Minnesota. We are about eight, a little over eight hours from home. Just woke up. We loaded our freight here yesterday, tarped it. We're out of hours so we couldn't move. And now we have hours and we can move again. Here's what I'm working with today. If you guys watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that it took me an hour and 40 minutes to tarp this thing. I think it turned out pretty good actually. This load's going all the way to Kamloops, British Columbia. So how are you guys doing this morning? I'm feeling pretty good. A little tired, still a little sore from all the climbing up and down on this trailer yesterday, but doing good. And off we go. I'm gonna turn on to Interstate 35 northbound here, go up towards Minneapolis, go around the west side of Minneapolis, and follow Interstate 94 all the way to the North Dakota border where we're gonna head north to Canada. I'm just taking this load into Manitoba. Someone else is gonna take over for me there. This has to be in Kamloops, British Columbia, Monday morning. And I'm not available Monday because we still got a surprise coming on Monday. You might know already. If not, now you know there's a surprise onto the highway here we'll drive up a little bit down the road and then we'll stop and check our tarps to make sure that they haven't shifted because they usually settle once the wind hits them for a while you know you just got to go make sure that they're all still tight that all of your tarp protectors underneath there for the sharp corners that they're still where they're supposed to be it's a very oddly shaped load it's difficult to tarp it nicely and evenly but i like the way this one turned out though I wish I could deliver it. It's my load. I want to deliver it. But they would have to wait till Thursday if they want me to bring it there. Because I can only leave towards BC on uh, Monday evening. Ooh, we're heavy. Yikes. Come on, pull, pull, girl. We are heavy. We should be sitting at pretty close to 80,000 pounds. All together. It's hard for me to get speed going up this hill here. Usually when I load this kind of stuff, the loads aren't this large and this heavy and this big, you know, but this is a big order. Whoever ordered it in Kamloops, they're not messing around. I always enjoy stopping here at the Clearwater Travel Plaza. No sponsorship, no deal here or nothing, just one place I really like to stop. I'd recommend it to you guys too if you're going through Minnesota. It's uh Maybe 45 minutes west of Minneapolis on I-94 in the town of Clearwater. So it's easy to remember. Clearwater Travel Plaza is in Clearwater, Minnesota. Just stopped to pick myself up a coffee. Holiday coffee. Caution, it's hot. For the morons out there, just so you know. Coffee is hot. If it was cold, I would bring it back and ask for hot coffee. So I actually expect it to be hot, but I know not everybody thinks like me. That's okay, we're all different. You buy coffee and you're surprised that it's hot? Hey, eh. I don't know what to tell you. I'll get out of here now. This wasn't a half hour break or anything. This is just a quick little in and out. I'm trying to get home as quickly as possible. I have five and a half hours or so to the border and I have five and a half hours available to me before I need a half hour break. So I'm just thinking maybe I should have made this a half hour break. Huh. I wonder if I clicked on my driving already? As long as I stay under a certain speed, like in the parking lot, it doesn't click on my driving right away. So maybe I'll be able to park here yet and make this a half hour. You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to... There's nobody behind me right now, so I'm just going to slow down a bit so this changes screens here. Uh, 16 minutes I've been here. What's another 14? Okay, we're going to park in one of these spots here. I'm still off duty.
with my e-log as long as I stay really slow in the parking lot it doesn't click me into driving right away I mean if I drive really slow for long enough it'll click me into driving but uh, I'm just gonna park in one of these spots here once that pickup decides where he wants to go and just continue my half hour break here may as well right Either I stop for 14 minutes now, or I have to stop for another 30 minutes later. Bring a backer on in here. And just wait for my half hour to be up. There we go. Nicely in the lines. All right, here we go. And now we wait, Diesel. 17 minutes we've been stopped here now. I'm glad that it didn't tick into driving because sometimes if you go a little bit too fast through the parking lot, it'll click you into driving and then you have to start all over again, right? But uh, as long as I stay, what, under five miles an hour or something like that or under 10 miles an hour, I don't know exactly what it is. I don't like testing it like that, really. So I figure it's better just to wait here. I mean, what would you do? It says I'm five and a half hours from the border. And it says I have five and a half hours left to drive. Chances are, because I'm limited to 60 miles an hour, 100 kilometers an hour, that I'm not going to make it. I'll be a few minutes short, so I'm going to just wait. I've really got to talk to someone about, uh, someone about boosting the speed limit on this truck. It's so frustrating. I could get to my destination so much faster and make money so much faster if I could just do the speed limit. I'm going to look into it and see what, see what I can come up with. Exit 127, I-94, west of Minneapolis. We're still in Minnesota. We're in Sock Center. There's on the sign right there. Sock Center. Not socks like for your feet. Socks like, uh, sock. S-A-U-K. Sock. Sock Center. Maybe that was the name of, a. Uh, a First Nation? I'm not going to say whether it is or not because I have no idea. But I do know that they have a Walmart here. You put a Walmart in your town, you just might get a visit. Hey! Excuse me! What? What are you doing? Now I can't see! Oh, now he moves up more. Dude! What are you... That wasn't very nice. Manitoba plates. Dang Canadians. Anyways, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the trucker who has no idea how intersections work. If you put a Walmart in your town, you just might get a visit from Trucker Josh and his trusty weasel. I actually stop at this Walmart more often because uh, it's pretty easy access in there. And uh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Got lots of stuff in there. You got everything in there. Everything and everything what you need. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over there, I think. Yes, yeah, over there. You always get some truckers that stop in here for groceries. Truckers need to eat too, right? All right, all right. You got three little buddies over there. You can go park with them. I got no stop sign. I got no stop sign. Okay, I am going. Truck parking this away. Okay. I'm gonna go and turn around over here so that I'm facing out, because if I park myself facing in and I go into Walmart, I might come out and be surrounded by cars that decided to park all around me, not realizing that I still gotta turn around. Or just not caring. That's usually what happens, they just don't care. So I'm gonna go like this and turn around so that I give myself an out, so that even if it gets really busy suddenly, I have a way out. I'm gonna park over here, right over here. That guy parked right in the lane. You're supposed to at least park Whatever. Whatever. Park right here. Beautiful. 
pull these on it. Don't forget to set the brakes so you don't roll away. Might come back out and find Diesel rolled off into that parking lot over there. That wouldn't be very nice. Right, Diesel? Right? I'm gonna go inside, okay? I'm gonna go get some food. You... You're okay still? We just took you out a little while ago. You're good? How about let's take you out really quick? A quick little squirt, right? And then I'll bring you back in here. I'll leave it on with the air conditioning on for you, and I'm gonna go in there. I just need a few things, okay? All right. Right up ahead here is the U.S.-Canadian border. You ready to go home, Diesel? Oh, I said the H word. Oops. Now he's gonna be going nuts the whole time. <laughs> you excited? Canada Customs, one mile. Well, I'll see you guys on the other side. Diesel, welcome home. Back in Canada. And the scale is closed. What a good welcome. I wish I could be welcomed like this every time. Over there you see the big welcome center. Manitoba, welcome. It's cold, eh? Except for now in the summertime, but don't blink, it'll be cold again. So this week, on June 21st, this was last week for you, was summer solstice, the longest daylight day of the year. I love this time of year. So this means that summer begins and the heat begins. Believe it or not, it gets very hot up here. Very hot. We have extremes of both temperatures. And it makes sense if you think about it. Because in summertime, we get an abundance of sunlight, right? It's always light outside. Hard sun hardly ever goes down. The further north you go, the less nighttime you get. So you get a lot of sunlight on you, right? It gets really hot. Wintertime, we have hardly any sunlight. So it gets really cold. Pretty simple. I'm sure you can understand. But just because it's warm outside doesn't mean it's all sunshine and rainbows right now. I mean, there is sunshine, but mosquitoes, they come out. Something we got to worry about and deal with here in Manitoba is an abundance of mosquitoes. If you want some, you can come pick them up anytime you like. Uh, don't leave any behind, please. Take them all. Uh, but watch out. They're, it's like playing Minesweeper because, you know... So and so many mosquitoes, every, one of them here and there has like West Nile virus and uh, you know stuff like that. We also got wood ticks here that carry things like Lyme disease and totally cripple you. I know a couple of people suffering from it. It's not fun at all. So if you want to come take all our wood ticks and mosquitoes because you don't have enough, by all means, no one's going to stop you. Don't even check them at the border. Just take them across. Take them out of here. Joking aside, let's be serious. You can have them. So I'm about an hour from our yard. This thing is sitting crooked again. I gotta fix that. Why is everything falling off here? Everything's falling all over the place. I'm just gonna drop this trailer in the yard, hop in the pickup and go home for night. Tomorrow morning I gotta show up for work. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it'll be some regional stuff. So uh, we'll see what they have for us. I'll have to wait till then to see. I hope you tune in. There's a double quarter pounder meal with no pickles, with my name on it, in there. I just gotta let the good people know in the speaker box here that I'm here to receive it. Oh, my mouth is watering so much. I don't eat McDonald's that often. Okay, let's be honest, I, I eat McDonald's more often than I should. I'm trying to lose weight, and here I am ordering a double quarter pounder. But I can't help it. I'm hungry. And they had to put McDonald's directly on my route home. You know, it's not even under my control. I, I can't help it. I have to. Right? You guys understand. There's a long line up here for McDonald's and Steinbeck. You know, McDonald's and Steinbeck is the busiest McDonald's I've seen anywhere in either Canada or the United States. A lot of retired folks use McDonald's here as a hangout. So you might think that's funny, but I'm serious. This is a huge, huge spot for retired folks to come and just hang out all day. All right, one sec, we're gonna order here. My truck is too big for this. Hello? One moment, please. One moment. 
Diesel, he said one moment. 